In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to download AltStore on your iPhone or any other iOS device. AltStore is an app that allows you to install slash sideload third party apps and games without jailbreaking your device. So the first thing you guys need to do is open up your computer, whether that be on Windows or Mac. And if you're on Windows, make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes and also make sure that you have your iDevice connected to your computer. And so what you're going to do is just type in altstore.io. And then click alt store right over here click download under alt server windows and once it downloads just right click on alt installer click extract all and then click extract over here and so now that it's open all you need to do is simply open up setup.exe here And you're just gonna follow the on-screen instructions to install Altstore on your computer. So just click next here. And then you can also choose if you wanna install it for yourself or for anyone. So for me, I'm just gonna click just me here. And then I'm just gonna click next here again. And you will also get a user account control prompt. So just allow it here. And so just click close here and then click on search and type in alt server and then just click open and you will get this pop-up saying that you need iCloud installed and this is the one that you do not download from Microsoft Store you need to download it from apple.com so you can either go into Google Chrome and then download it from there or you can just click download over here and now you're just gonna wait for the download so I'll be back when this is done and once that installs, just double click on the iCloud setup. And you'll see this right over here, the loading bar. And then you'll see the license agreement. So click I accept and then click install over here. You'll get another user account control prompt. So just click yes. And it's just going to download here. And so it does take quite a while as well. So. Just be patient, it might take a little more time than a normal install. And you'll get another user account control prompt, so just click yes again. And it'll say welcome to iCloud, and then iCloud for Windows has been installed on your computer, so click finish. And now you'll just see this prompt asking to restart. So if you guys really want to restart, then you guys can, but it doesn't really affect the installation process for Alt Store. So for now, I'm just gonna click no. And now you can see in the corner right over here, iCloud is running in the background. So now just go back to search and type in alt server again, click open, and then you'll see a software update page. So I would recommend just clicking check automatically. And it should just show over here, but if it doesn't, then just click on this arrow over here and you'll see alt server over here. But if there's two processes, make sure to close both of them. So just click on alt store, click close, and then click on the other alt store and click close to and so now just go back and search up alt server and now you can see it right next to the arrow here and it's running now and so the reason we do this is because we don't want to create confusion if there's two alt servers so it's just better to have one so just click on alt server here and at this time your device should already be plugged in anyways but if you haven't just plug it in now so just click on alt store here and then click on your iPhone or any other iDevice. And then you'll just see this pop up asking you to put your Apple ID. So just enter the same one on your device here. This is necessary to install apps using alt store and alt store does not store your Apple ID. So it's safe to do this process. So obviously I'm just going to blur all of this information as I put my Apple ID. And then you'll see this notification saying registering PC with Apple. This may take a few seconds. And one thing I do want to mention is that you also do need to log into your iCloud as well. So just click on the actual icon here and then just click sign in and then I'll be back when I sign in. And once you've done that, just go back into alt server and then just click install alt store and then do this entire process again. And then you'll see installing alt store to iPhone. This may take a few seconds so just keep waiting. 
and then you'll see installation succeeded all store was successfully installed on your iphone so now we can switch over to my iDevice here and you may not see the actual alt store icon so just go all the way to the right and then you'll see alt store here so you can just drag that over here and click add to home screen and now just click on the actual app and you'll see untrusted developer right over here so what you need to do is just go to settings scroll down to general and then scroll down to vpn and device management and then you'll see your own email here and it's going to say not trusted so you're going to click trust on your own email and then you're just going to click trust here so now just exit out of the settings app and just click on the actual app and you will see developer mode required here so by default most people on ios 16 don't have developer mode on so to turn it on simply go into settings so first click ok then go into settings scroll down to you see privacy and security scroll all the way down again and then under security you see developer mode so just turn this on here and it'll say restart so i'll be back when my device restarts and once you restart you'll get a notification confirming that you want to turn on developer mode and it gives a bunch of warnings saying that your security is at risk but just click turn off and then you'll have to enter your password to turn it on and so once you do just open up the app here and then you'll just get a notification pop-up saying if alt store is allowed to send you notifications so I would recommend doing something like this as it'll tell you when your apps are going to expire. So I'll click allow here and then another pop up will show up saying alt store would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. This is important. So this one has to be turned on here. And so now that you're here, just click settings and then click sign in with Apple ID here. And so once you've signed in, you'll see these steps here saying launch alt server connect to wi-fi download apps and apps refresh automatically so basically you have to enter in your apple id here as this is the only way you'll be able to install apps as you will need a profile and so now switch back into your computer and go into itunes and then click on your iDevice so just connect your iDevice again and so just click on your iDevice here and you'll see this setting right over here saying sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. So for most people by default, it's set off. So make sure that it is in fact on. So just click this over here and then it'll say apply. So click apply and then you'll have to resync all of that and then just click done here. So to keep the installed apps valid, you'll need to refresh alt store at least once a week. This is because of how Apple's certificate system works to refresh alt store. Open up the Alt Store app on your iOS device and then just click got it here and then go to my apps at the bottom over here and just make sure that your device is connected and then just click refresh all right over here and then obviously once my expiry is near I'm just going to click refresh all and while my device is connected and also my Alt server is active on my computer it'll automatically refresh. And another thing I would recommend is to just simply click on the alt server icon here and then keep automatically launch at startup on. So for some people, it might be off like this. So just go back into alt server and then just check mark this. And finally, you can also go to browse and then click on sources at the top. And then you can add all of these sources over here so that you can sideload different apps as well. So I will be making another video on how to properly use Alt Store once you have downloaded right now. This is mainly just the setup guide and just to get everything on your iPhone right now. So just make sure that you guys do subscribe for that. And so now you guys can enjoy a whole range of third party apps and games. If this tutorial helped, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I plan to make more videos on Alstro like Invalid Anti-Set Data Fix 2. So make sure that you guys stay tuned to watch that. Thanks for watching.